Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at a Funfair uh, game by Mayfair. It's a stellar game by James Spurney called Rocket Jockey. Planet hopping, never stopping. Um, picked this up real cheap. I don't remember where. I think I got it on Amazon. It was like five or six bucks. Um, it looked interesting, uh, but I don't really know much about it. But it's supposed to be some sort of, like, space adventure game. I thought, it, you know, space stuff's cool, and it's got that kind of retro 50s look. But let's read the car box here. Uh, Rocket Jockey contains 9 destination cards, 27 cargo cards, 32 maneuver cards, 16 co-pilot cards, 2 alien cards, and 4 scoring cards. Let's go ahead and read the premise here, at least a little bit of it. Uh, it's supposed to be a fast-paced card game for two to four players, ages 10 and older. It takes about five to ten minutes to learn, and half an hour to an hour to play. Uh, it's all you need to explore the wild ride of plant interplanetary commerce. Um, should be interesting. This is Mayfair Games, uh, product number 4404. So let's open it up and see what we got in here. Uh, Mayfair has put out some surprisingly good games before, so I'm usually pretty happy to buy one of their games, especially if it's cheap. Ooh. Box quality's okay. Pretty decent. It's got a nice smooth feel to it. Alright, we've got a little booklet. A little rocket ship. And two stacks of cards. And it says Mayfair Games on this insert. I don't know why this looks like the way it does, because there seems to, it's probably just a universal uh, thing, but the little rocket, yeah, that's gonna get lost. Probably about 15 minutes after you play the game, especially if you're playing with kids. And then you'll find it again about four in the morning when you get up to pee, and you're walking across the room and you step right on it, and it goes right into the bottom of your foot. Cause it's kind of point, it's not pointed, it's flat at the top, but it's shaped like a rocket, so it's going in your foot. Just throwing that out there, so be aware. Be aware. So let's look at our rule book. All right, we got uh, the rocket marker, which is what this is. Uh, you will need pen and paper or other way to keep score during the game, according to this. So let's open up these cards here, because uh, it says there's some specific types of cards. Alright, cellophane. Let's see our battle continues. Alright, according to the um, uh, instruction book, these are maneuver cards with this image on them. And why did they not make these easier to open? Oh, they did. I'm just dumb. Haha! -ha. Smart, smart, smart. Score cards. Am I missing cards? All right, so the, um, the uh, booklet is a bit of a liar. All right. It seems to imply, if I'm looking at it, that the back of the card is for these and then there's a different back of the card for these there's not they're all the same back they all look 
identical to me. So there are three different stacks of cards. You've got your alien cards. Oh, no, you got more than that. There's your alien visitors card. And then aliens. And then you've got uh, 16 co-pilot cards. So we've got three Captain Blues, four Captain Blues, four Captain Purples, four Captain Reds, and four Captain Yellows. They're co-pilots. Uh, those are co-pilots. I don't know why they say Captain on them. Um, alien Visitors start at orbit 10, reduce one orbit per turn. And this one says express, two Express Cargos, three Aliens, the end for Earth, something like that. Alright, then these are maneuver cards. So we, we've got, uh, use an order. Alright, we've got Home and Transfer 1, 2, Home and Transfer 2, 3, 2, 3, then a 3, 4, 3, 4. Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. Then we've got a booster rocket. That's one, three, one, three, two, four, two, four, two, four, three, five, three, five, three, five, four to six, four to six, five to seven, five to seven, six to eight, six to eight, seven to nine, seven to nine, one to four, two to five, three to six, four to seven, five to eight, six to nine. So that's all the maneuver cards. Um, you do get four score sheets, so that's kind of nice. Um, transport scoring on one side, and then planet scoring on the other. So there's four of those, they're all identical. Alright, then we've got planet cards. Mercury, Venus, these are numbered. Uh, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, even though Pluto's been demoted over the years. Poor Pluto. It's now a dwarf planet. I still think it's a real planet, even if it is smaller than our moon. So let's get these out of the way. Uh, the art's are right. N not a lot of effort put into it, in my opinion. Kind of lazy. That could have been really spiced up a little bit more, but what do you want for five bucks, I guess? Uh, Express Cargo 1 for uh, to Mercury, for Mercury, then a 2 for Venus, a 2 for Venus, this is blue, uh, it was 2 purples and 2 blues um, for Venus, uh, 2 for Venus blue, 3 for Earth purple, Earth blue, Earth blue, Earth blue, Earth blue, Mars purple, Mars blue, Mars blue, Mars blue, Jupiter purple, Jupiter, Jupiter blue, Jupiter blue, Saturn purple, Saturn blue, Saturn blue, Uranus purple, Uranus blue, Uranus blue, and I'm not saying Uranus, because it's too funny, and I'll giggle. Uh, purple Neptune, blue Neptune, blue Neptune, and one purple Pluto. That's all of them. And that is all the cards. So there's not really a lot to the game. Um, the instruction sheet looks like you're going to need a fair amount of space to put all these cards out. And you're going to be moving around it looks like. Um, it doesn't look like it's a really complicated game. It might be a little confusing the first few times you play, um, but I think it's really just a game about running transport. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't seem too complicated. Uh, the, the game ends when the aliens make it to Earth, ending the rocket jockey way of life with their new technologies. Uh, the first time the cargo deck is reset after planet scoring, shuffle the alien cargo card with four random cargo cards, then place them at the bottom of the new cargo deck. Uh, the, the green alien's cargo card is set aside until the alien visitor card is drawn. 
So after the after the aliens reach Earth, plant scoring takes place. Uh, the winner is the player who has scored the most prestige points. Pretty straightforward scoring system. You just play till the aliens show up. So pretty cool. Um, looks like it might be all right. Not overly impressed. Not going to say this is the greatest game ever. Um, not like super eager to run out and play it. But it looks like something that could kill a good half hour, 45 minutes of play. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's probably worth playing. Uh, I'm not disappointed that I bought it. Uh, I know I'm going to step on that stupid rocket token, though. Um, but other than that, looks like it's a fairly straightforward, simple game. Might be fun. Uh, a lot of people say it's not fun, but I don't know. It, I think they're just having different expectations. I think this would be fine, especially for playing with some younger players. It seems easy to grasp, and it's really just a game of drawing cards. So, that's Rocket Jockey. If you've ever been curious, now you know what's in the box. And that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.